Right, to get full marks here, you've got to be careful to explain every step of the way, which angle it is you're finding and why that angle is what it is. So first angle I'm going to find here is this one, which is angle TQR. And I can see that these two angles must add up to 180 degrees. So TQR is just going to be 180 take away 108. Well, that's 72 degrees. In brackets, then, you need to write that the reason for that is that you've got a straight line. OK, so let's just get rid of part of that. So we now know that this angle here is 72 degrees. I'm now going to use the alternate segment property. Here we have a triangle and here we have a tangent. And I know because of the alternate segment property that this angle here is going to be exactly the same as this one over here, the angle in the alternate segment. In other words, this one over here is also 72 degrees. So I'm now I'm, go I'm going to write that angle RTU must also be 72 degrees. And the reason for that is it's the angle in the alternate segment. You can just write alternate segment, that would do. The one we're actually asking to been asked to find, though, is this little angle here, which is angle STU. If we look carefully at the diagram now, we can see that all of that blue angle is 72 degrees. So this is 72 degrees. This smaller part here is 44 degrees which means that the one that we want must just be 72 minus 44. And the reason for that is, well, you don't really need to give a reason, it's just 72 take away 44, which comes out as 28 degrees.